Good evening everybody, so this is A4 Tusus Part 25, let's play Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time I left it off, we had to, um, we had to help, uh, Penelope, uh, protest against civil rights and all that jazz, but, um, but, uh, but was against that, so we had to put an end to it, but we just tag along anyway, and let's just say that things kind of went a little sour because those two guys tried to jump Buell, but we broke up the fight and, and left. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. And today, in today's episode, we're gonna do some more mandatory missions. So, before we before we start recording, I already, I did check my map to see if, if there's any cycles we can take on. And yeah, the uh, the, the bounty hunter mission still at Saint Denis, but we're gonna do that much later. I mean, I could do it right now if I want to, but I'm just gonna wait till we uh, get to chapter four. Then we'll worry about that uh about the Saint Denis mission. Oh yeah, and the robbery mission. Which is option, which we're gonna do some other time. But for now, we're gonna um, start this mission. Um, horse flesh for dinner. Oh God, ugh. Who, who, who the hell wanna eat a horse? All right, it's a John Marston mission. Do a Dutch told you to meet up with John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Brave Race prize horses. Oh yeah, he did mention it at, at the end of the previous part. Yeah, when when I was saying something about uh, Arthur's against uh, revenge and all that shit. All right, so for now let's go uh, see John Marston and see about some about some horse prices or 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 some stupid shit like that. Anyway, how how how, how is everyone? So by the time the video goes up, probably Thursday. Oh, before anyone asks, yes, I did see the uh, the Last of Us Two trailer, new trailer, and oh my goodness, man, I, I am still excited for it. But I didn't see any leaks though, cause I plan not to. But from the looks of the trailer, oh boy, oh boy, it looks pretty fucking deep if you ask me. <coughs> God damn fucking throat. All right, so now time to go see John Marston. Yeah, it's been a while since I recorded one of these, cause I recorded this last night. But, but last night I was uh, doing a live stream of Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still on- Oh, got my throat! <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Yep. Anyway, I'm still on Chapter 8 on Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I already met with Aerith, and I am- Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I am so looking forward to get to, get to the, uh... The, got the, to the, uh, Don Corneal scene. Oh my god, man, I cannot wait till I get there. And, oh, shit, I almost ran to that motherfucker. Anyway, um... I'm, I'm already worried that he's in Chapter 9. And chapter 8 is long as hell. It's mainly because I was doing most of the side quests over there. And I, I may attempt the, uh, the optional boss over there. The, uh, VR, uh, Shinra fight. Sh the VR Shinra fight. Yeah, I did beat the optional boss on the side quest. Quite challenging, but I still beat him. Even though I was playing on easy. Oh yeah, I was watching Sopranos this morning. I already finished, um... Hey, mister. I already finished, uh, season five. You know the season where, uh, where Adrian got killed by Sylvia Dante because she was an F she was an FBI informant snitching on Christopher and, and Tony's crew and all that shit. And then, um... Oh, and, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, uh, Tony's cousin, Tony Bledetto, he, he killed, um, Phil Leotaro's brother, Billy Leotaro, because he, because he killed Angelo. And because of, uh... Uh, Blundetto killed uh, Billy, Phil Leotardo, Giant Sack was about to go to war with Tony and his crew, but um, they told Tony that um, that they'll sell it down if uh, Tony Soprano captures um, Tony Blundetto and him to Phil Leotardo so he can torture him and beat him to death. But Tony Soprano handled it his own way. He went to, he went to uh, Tony Blundetto's hideout and shot him in the head with a shotgun. But yeah, man, the, the Sopranos, man, it's one, it's one of the greatest shows they made on HBO, man. I've been, I've been watching that show like crazy back, back when it aired, even on my DVD. Special, special when, when I went to that, uh, to that school that day in 2007, at college, basically, and they was getting sick and tired of talking about Sopranos. I'm like, dude, if I want, to, if, if I want to talk about the Sopranos, then I'll talk about it because I am grown and I can do whatever I want. But yeah. And yes, the Tori already right, no, I can't use any uh, weapons in the um, in this in this in the uh, in roads. Can I help you there? Sure. Let's 
supposed to be my business partners here. Five, four, three, two. There it is. Horseshit. And a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. More like a wonderful night. Day is over. Yeah, it's almost as it's hit nighttime. Shoot, my teeth still hurting, man. Everyone comes to, like swollen on the on the upper left. Oh fucking morning. Oh my god, for a second I thought I thought he was riding a fire horse. Yeah, from the undead nightmare. Hey friend. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember that fiery horse in the uh, undead nightmare on Red Dead One? Yeah, speaking of that, I wonder if this thing will be Undead Nightmare 2. I don't know if I asked this before. Well, I, I wouldn't mind seeing an Undead Nightmare 2. Listen to the option of a conversation. I wonder how long this is gonna go, or is it, or is Dawa gonna repeat? Okay, it stopped. Oh shoot! I almost set the uh, R2 button to shoot. Arthur Morgan. No, I met your son, Sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with the family, a family of degenerates. Well, nobody likes degenerate. Degenerate gambler? They ruined this county. Killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. <laughs> I ain't nothing. I ain't no Yankee, man. That's Brooklyn baseball. Scott. I'm Scottish. In the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! <laughs> All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. Damn! Where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Oh yeah, we gotta steal them. If I'm not mistaken. Fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this publicly. I mean, my sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Alright. Alright, follow John. I want to mess up the horse's speed, and there we go. But yeah, that trial was something the last was too. How much more best it's gonna get delayed again? If it does, I'm not gonna be surprised. Crazy old fool. It comes out on June 19th. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any. Uh, we kind of did help, help Jose uh, with the uh, with Captain Braveweight a while ago. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Alright. gonna play this. Place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? 
You'd be armed if you were about to spend five thousand on horses. Yeah, I can, I can believe they're expensive. Oh, ran to that fucking sun. All right, speaking of Final Fantasy VII remake, um, I was thinking that if uh, if he's doing no stream on Friday, then I'm gonna stream on that Friday. If not, then Saturday. I mean, if she does, then I'll stream on on Saturday. God damn it. Wait, if Missy does stream on uh, Friday, then I'll stream on Saturday. Oh yeah, when, oh yeah, when, when I mentioned I bought the uh, physical copy of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, I forgot to mention that uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake physical copy comes with two discs, just like Red Dead 2. Yeah, this one is the uh, installation, and this two is the uh, is the game itself. Alright, let me say that again, just in case I made an error. This one is the is the uh, installation, and this two is the uh, is the uh, is the game itself. In general, yes. Right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. Hip hip hooray. Alright, right, sit your horse. And steal that motherfucker's horse. Alright. Approach to the stable hand. So we gotta walk up to him and just just talk to him. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You scarface and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. Oh boy, this ain't gonna end well for him. Available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable in Stud Farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially, of course. All right, take out the uh, take out the silver hand quietly. Oh, I was gonna wait a little bit. Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognize us. All right, put the bandana on. All right, approach to the horse. Yeah, I think you wait too. I think you wait too long. Then um, John Martin will knock him out for you. All right, let's calm him down. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. All right, lead the horse. This way. Come on. All right, now you gotta follow John with the horse. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Yeah, we still on the horses. Go, get out of here. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Oh, shoot. More coming this way! Out of the field! Oh, shit. Oh god, see, I fucking hate uh, horseback shooting. Ha, <laughs> I ran his ass over.
Yeah, let's go this way. There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. Let's try to lose them in the trees. Yeah, I don't think you have to fight them off. Just follow, just follow the gang. All right, matter of fact, let's shoot that motherfucker. Uh. Hope my horse is so hurry. Oh shit. Oh god. I almost ran right. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh god. Move it, motherfucker. Don't you see me running? Oh my god. This is crazy. Yeah, please. Well, let's take out your lasso. Shit. One of the is loose. That's why. Alright. After the lasso, you can release Elwood. Alright. There we go. All right, just just release L two, and then he'll he'll still hold on to the horse with the rope on his neck. See, that's why I took out my last one because at some point the horse was gonna uh, get separated and take off. All right, at least they wait for you. That's nice. Whoa, dude! Slow the fuck down. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, my freaking control is probably like a motherfucker right now. It's making me nervous. Oh my god, I love how the fucking rope clipped through Javier. Alright, now you gotta talk to this dude to end the mission. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. We'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davis. That's my brother, Clyde. Clay Davis? From The Wire? The one that goes, she. Javier. So what are you? A Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That ra so, that's racist. Why, well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. You're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clyde? Clyde don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the boon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not <laughs> a little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? You want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang. So yeah, we got ripped off. I ain't got no more money, Pop. You did that mission for nothing. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, we might as well take what we have. Ain't no one around here got Well, to be fair, back in 1899, it is really hard to get $5,000 back in those times. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get $5,000 back, dude. So yeah, we pretty much just stole their horses for nothing. All right, you can sell horses to Clay and Clive and Clemens Cove, which I'm not going to do. Get five headshots, which I didn't do. 
All right, kill this. Okay, kill the stable hand showing you. Wait, kill the stable hand showing you the horse. Cast this to line with ten seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. See, like like I was mentioning, if you wait too long to uh kill them, then John Ross will probably kill them for you. Then and then then that uh gold um achievement will be will be off limits until um you get your fifth hit shots. All right, so the next mission we're gonna do. Let's see any side missions? Nope, not that I know of. All right, so we still got time to do our next mission. We're gonna do a Hosea's mission. And what's the name of his mission? Okay, uh, define joys of tobacco. Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean at Braveway Manor while they in in great and originate themselves. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to, so we're going back to the Braveway with the uh, Hosea. Oh, there's the legendary fish. I don't give a shit about that. Do I feel like playing some five fellet? Nah. See, I think it's more important to play five fellet before I, I decided in the episode. But we're not in the episode. We're gonna keep on going. All right, all right, Montgomery, take me to uh, Hosea. Well, yeah, I really can't wait for uh, Last of Us 2 comes out. Well, at least there are two games that are coming out this month. Uh, Shantae, Seren, Cyrus, and Bug Fables on the PS4. Shoot. Yeah, once I get um, World Life finished and 100% of... Uh, Shantae Samurai 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 at my own time, then I'm gonna do a let's play of it. Oh, oh, oh my god. That's the second time that shit almost happened. Ran almost ran to that person. But yeah, as I was implying, once I get real life finished, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pretty much focus on Red Dead 2 until, um, the Seven Sirens comes out. I'm gonna play for a while until I, um, 100% and then I'll, then I'll do a let's play of it. I mean, I will do a live stream of it, but um, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live stream of Final Fantasy VII Remake like crazy. But yeah, I am, I do, I, I love that game to death already. That's not, that's a game I, I don't mind replaying over and over until part two comes out. The music, the music is amazing. The music, oh my goodness, man. Whew. The soundtrack in, in, Final in Final Fantasy VII Remake is, oh my goodness, man, it's so freaking gorgeous. It's so addicting to listen to over and over and over. Yeah, I know it's hyper beat uh, this morning on, on his YouTube channel. I didn't watch it though because I don't want to get spoiled or anything. Unless I ask for it. But for now, I don't want to get spoiled unless I ask. Okay, y'all, y'all kind of seen me before, so don't you think I should give permission to um, the 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 go see a uh, brave weight, or whatever her name is. Alright, let's just get let's just get out the uh, horse, cause she she she's not gonna let her horse in her house. And that horse just took a shit, didn't he? Huh? Didn't she? I mean. Oh my God! Speaking of horse in the house, there was this one. There was this one episode on Sopranos where Tony was dreaming. <laughs> he was dreaming that he had a uh, pile my his horse in his house, and come out was saying something about that horse. That horse is going to shit in my house. You don't feed it <laughs> or shit like that. See, I'm so tough to hit R2 to make make Arthur run. I'm so used to playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, because on that game you hit R2 to make him run, make Cloud run. I love her mansion, though. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Yeah, I believe we met so this one. in the previous part. As dumb as he looks, 
Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, medals. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful mare on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can drive a horse. <laughs> On the wagon. Okay, I know what mission this is. Are we going then? Yeah, I'm trying. Ready? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I didn't know you can actually climb on that. Cause I'm, I was trying to make Arthur get, get on the, uh, go on the seat, make him drive. See, I thought this is the part where we had to make Arthur high in the wagon. Oh, I think it's coming up shortly. Yeah, I think after I finish recording, I'm gonna fix me some french fries. So fucking hungry and shit. I already ate some cereal, light cereal. Damn it. Were you Dutch now? Equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> so Sean has a plan. Yeah. Alright, so let's keep running to our destination. I think I remember his mission coming up. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Uh, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. Ah, right, yeah, this is what I was thinking about. He has to hide in the wagon. I hope I don't get soft locked like I did during the game industrials when when I was with Micah in that one mission in chapter two. Alright, you can tap on the touchpad to change Arthur's point of view, which I'm not gonna do. Yeah, I love how you can see his gun sticking out of the uh, out of that sheet. So yeah, we're still playing both sides. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's why we have to hide in the wagon because they saw us before. And they don't, they don't want to get too suspicious. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a ting, a, a ting, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, I've come from Donegal. You, you tell me he didn't see Arthur under that sheet. Two was still still bugging me. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> oh yeah, he was drinking something that he was drinking that moonshine. The fuck is up with that fence? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right, you are. Oh yeah, we got. Oh, you, oh yeah, we got to uh, knock knock his ass out in a few seconds. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, nothing. It's grand. Yeah, I think one was downstairs putting his food up, so that's good. Cause uh, at, like, like I said, after I um uh, take out the car silently. Yeah, after I finish recording, I'm gonna hopefully have fix me some French fries. All right. Let's kill that motherfucker. Okay, yeah, now we're just missing. Yeah, we have to. Oh yeah, we have to burn the barn. <laughs> That's um. Yeah, Sean's just closed the door. I, I had to take my head off my off the screen for a brief second to refresh my memory. Yeah, look at my timer, I should say. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Oh yeah, this is like that. This is like that one mission in um in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Yeah, this is definitely like that, like, like that one mission in uh, San Andreas, where you have to uh, use a flamethrower and burn the uh, the, the cornfields. I haven't played that game in ages. I still remember that mission. Oh, yeah, that, oh, that that's also on the PS4 San Andreas. It used to be on the PS, it used to be on the PS3, but they removed it, I think, and they put it on the PS4. Alright. Oh, that's the, uh, the the fire bottle. I thought it was called a flame a flame bottle, or whatever it's called. Oh hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So what 
All right, we can't let them see you, otherwise you'll fail the mission. So time to play some more Metal Gear Solid uh, gimmicks. Alright, he's gonna take him out silently. And he's gonna kill him savagely. Uh oh, motherfucker. Alright, Delta the back of the moonshine. Okay, I don't know why we had to do this to begin with, but um because they, cause they, they ain't explain they ain't explain why they had to uh burn the uh the the, the, the bad ghost, but we had to do it anyway. All right, let's just keep hold now. You have to hold R two to um to pour the uh the gas on the tobaccos. But be careful not to get spotted by the, by the grays, otherwise you'll fail the mission. All right, so once you once you're in the uh the the, the 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 yellow field on the map, that's where you can pour the uh gas in the uh in the uh cornfield, aka tobacco. Keep doing that until, until the yellow uh, mark disappears. That's good for you. Oh shit. Getting a little nervous. Okay. He turned around, but he ain't spot me. That's good. I mean, once you in the once you in the yellow field in your map, you don't have to pour the uh, gas at, 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 at every single spot. Just pour it until the until the uh, yellow mark disappears. Oh, what the hell? Dude, he was walking in place for a brief second. Alright, we gotta get across. Alright. Pour it here. Oh, and pay attention to the number on the upper right. That's how many gasoline you have in the uh, in that bucket. So we got 46 percent right now. And one more spot will do. All right, see, so I want that gray up there to turn around, which he did. Oh, oh, he knocks. The oh, there you go. Walking in places again. Yeah, he got stuck in that little corner. Alright, now we're gonna be strong at the barn. How the fuck they don't hear him running? That's why I was, that's why I'm, I was getting a little scuffled with we're running. Okay, they talk about the barn that's that's uh with the light on it. Yep, there goes Sean. Knock somebody out and kill them.
Alright, burn the barn. Alright, we gotta uh throw the flame thing in the barn and burn it. Uh oh. So we pretty much got spotted automatically, and uh, Sean had to burn the uh, tobaccos. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I think. Oh, I think the reason why we had to uh, burn the tobaccos is because we were, we were pretty much told to. Now I remember. Throw another. All right, now we gotta take out the gray guards. Okay, yeah, like I said, now I remember the reason why we burned the tobacco because um the brave ray pretty much told us to do it because yeah, keep in mind the um the grays and the uh, brave rays are enemies. You feel me? Okay, got no official on Instagram. Nice. Somebody reacted to my uh, to my stories I posted. Alright. Alright, I need to, need to fill up. This is the cool music. Yeah, I can't see in this fucking dark shit. Uh oh. Wait, that's, that's Sean. Alright, there you go. Oh, shit. Man, it takes so long to fucking die. You think? Okay, he's dead. Oh, I see you. Yeah, take these guys out first. But I killed them. Oh, there's more. Ah! <laughs> Shoot, they don't have to tell you. Story of my life. Oh god, we're in the middle of the fire. We really gotta be careful. It's all foggy and shit. Oh god, I almost ran into that shit. Exactly. We ain't got time to loot. I ain't, I ain't dying no fire. Worst way to fucking die, pal. Oh. Oh, cut free. Dude, I'm hitting triangle. What the fuck? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Uh, cut the uh thing off. Now we gotta wait for host, uh, wait for Sean. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was Sean, cause I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But don't run in the fire. Fire burns, you dumb fuck. Oh boy. Got one. I see you. Oh my god, you, you was in my way. He <laughs> ran that motherfucker over. Oh, he just went right through it. Okay. Alright. Right, right, right run to another one of the greys. I mean, I said we might run to another one of those greys. Just 
throw our guns away before a Dutch bitch at us. Nice music, by the way. Well, wait till we get this one mission in the later segment in chapter uh, six, I believe. Shoot, it wasn't. What a, what a night. Let's see. Uh, yes. If you, you hit the client, then he'll just, he'll just, um, go to camp by himself. Because I, I want to go back anyway. I guess we got time to play a little bit of, uh, Five Fill It. Before we end the episode. Man, I really do love this game, yo. Red Dead 2. I don't mind we playing this game over and over and over. Alright, I got a bronze achievement. Silently kill the gray Silently killed the gray Sean distracts in the wagon store. Douse the fields in two minutes. Kill five grays during the escape. Okay. Yeah, I did took a healing item. Alright. Man, can I still play Five Fell It? Oh, I mean, I better take a rest till morning to play it. Oh, there's Dutch's mission. There's a uh, Dutch's uh, mission. But we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that though. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to sleep and wake up in. Yeah, we're gonna also wake up in the noon. So I can play. So I can hurry and play some five fill it. That's if it spawns. Yeah, we don't want to play no dynamos. Oh wow! Oh, oh, it didn't spawn. Yeah, cause it spawns at random. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's I might as well end the episode right here. Maybe next time. Well, let's go find a place to sit so I can call an episode. Go away, Micah. No, you ain't my fucking brother. I have a father, and his name is Ben Parker. Huh, <laughs> just calling Spider-Man. <laughs> sure, we need him in the next part. All right, so uh, what mission we're gonna, we're gonna do next? In the next part. Yeah, we're gonna do Dutch's mission next. Oh shoot, I almost tore my goddamn guidebook. It should say uh, Magicians of uh, Spore or some shit like that. Yup, Magicians for Sport. Okay, I thought it said of the sport. Oh yeah, it does say Magicians for Sport. Yeah, I'm looking at it in my guidebook. Anyway, does ask you to find out more about the bounty hunters that uh, Tyler White mentioned. Okay. Oh, oh let's go back to the map, because I want to see if there's any more side quests spawned. Nope. I still see the uh, I still see the uh, body hunter mission over there. 
That's about it. Alright, so next time let's play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to um, go see Dutch and complete his mission. Then we're probably going to um, check out Molly O'Shea's uh, mission. Well, actually, a uh, mission is going to spawn right after we beat Dutch's uh, mission. But then again, we'll see what happens. So, until next time, everyone. Celtics A42, out.